Hey guys, today we're trying The Suicide of Rachel Foster, as requested by Patreon subscriber Knox. Getting very somber and silent. <laughs> yes, I, I would suspect that this game might feature some sensitive subjects. Please reach out to a hotline if you are struggling with these thoughts. Adjust the brightness until both butterflies are equally visible. That almost sounds like a trick question. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Nope. Any key to continue did not involve clicking. I guess I should have seen that coming. I was trying to continue it and it accidentally clicked directly on the bar. Here we are. Might as well check for subtitles. Yep, there we go. Pump voices up a bit. It does not like you to- oh. You can click exactly where you want to end, but you can't move it around on the fly apparently. Can't, you can't drag it. You can only click where you want to go. Strange. I'm always impressed by how prolific uh, Daedalic is. My dear Nicole. Do I press thing? Yep. You are the daughter. Why does it say different things in the subtitles? <laughs> You are the daughter every mother dreams of. Beautiful, smart, and fair. We've been through a lot, and I know things haven't been always been easy, but remember what Dr. Franklin said after your speech at high school graduation. I've always thought of you as a fighter who, faced with the toughest challenges, is capable of brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight courageously and heroically. We never talked about what happened with your father, but now... I need to tell you a few things before his illness separates us. The affairs your father had with that young woman a year, nine years ago and her ensuing suicide broke our family apart forever. I imagine exactly what was going through your head in that moment. My father no longer exists for me. I can only trust my mother. Oh, I'm making choices. That wasn't clear. I thought the subtitles were fucking up and misrepresenting misrep things going on. Shit, I made a choice earlier then. Whoops. I can only trust my mother. I, w I was there. I've always been there. When you dislocated your shoulder at the first game. When you stabbed... When you sobbed at night in a room you didn't recognize and when... Yeah, I didn't realize I was making dialogue choices down here. It just looks like there was quotes to, to say like, Oh, that's what the subtitles look like or whatever. And when, the, and when they didn't match the document, I was like, oh, weird. <laughs> Maybe they're glitched out or, or something, or, or like they didn't update them, but whatever. I don't need subtitles yet. There's not even dialogue yet. But I was making dialogue choices. You can move the quotes. When you kissed Duncan Forbes into the Christmas tree, Christmas mistletoe in 1985. Duncan was a good kid. Even if I've never said so before, I immediately thought you wouldn't have a lot to talk about. Talking is the foundation for every relationship. If you don't talk, you drift apart. There is so much to say when you don't have a lot of time to say it. First of all, I'm sorry. First of all, I'm sorry. See, having it repeat what it says on the document, just all the more reinforces the idea in my head that it might be subtitles. Weird.
I never thought rage was an emotion worthy of a good Christian, but I used it. I used it to endure pain. I don't want you to live your life like I have, my love. I want you to be free from the past, once and for all. That is why I want you to do exactly as I say. Fell our hotel? Sell our hotel, okay. <laughs> the hotel is my family's, and you've- and you're entitled to it. Go back there, Nicole. I've hired a lawyer in Helena, Mr. Jenkins, to give you this letter once your father has passed away. I will already be long gone. Take a quick inspection, sign the papers, and sell those walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off your university loans, and give the rest to the girls and family. Let's end this story once and for all. I'm guessing that's Rachel Foster who died? That's the family we're sending the money to? Let's end this story once and for all. We've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, your wedding, my grandchildren's birth, but that's it. We don't know how much time we have. Use yours to love. There's nothing else worth living for. Fighting for a dying, uh, fighting for or dying for, believe me. I love you above all else. Your mother, June 24th, 1991. I was one year old. So my father slept with a girl who might be Rachel Foster who committed suicide, and then my mom maybe committed suicide as a result? So things are off to a positive start. They're always leaning on this like butterfly imagery, but the banner of the game seems to the show bad that weather crossing Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955 with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winners in Lewis and Clout County? I've come across this game multiple times and I always see that butterfly. Then I realized only before I started playing, that's a retainer. Like for your mouth, the roof of your mouth. That's where those little lines are on the outside. Someone made this strange observation, apparently, that a retainer looks a lot like a butterfly. <laughs> and they just ran with it, apparently. Choices were made. Hello from Montana. That's all I remember from the night we departed ten years ago. Leonard's motorbike. The attorney said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the Mountain Museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. Rustic. You are here. That's always tricky when there's just a diorama of the area you're in. 
Someone with a lot of time on their hands recreating the entire local visuals. It's a pretty beautiful game. Oh, uh -huh, the up arrows are definitely pointing down there. Reception thing is all tarnished. So this is the hotel. It's beautiful, but also looks pretty nasty in certain spots. Oh, there's even a local map. That seemed timed for it to not, not be possible to pick up. Like it was gonna go off right when you approach it each time. Be your own boss. Forever finance. Best interest rates. Slip and find ever motion. Don't, why is it on the spine? That's like unreadable. Wait, that just says walking dead. <laughs> It's just a Walking Dead comic, but that they don't look like that. I have them right here. Or one of them, at least. There's the weird fucked up one. Never mind, let your problems relax, new chapter- what? Is that supposed to be a poster? And not a book? Like the art's freaking out? New world. Have we failed the book sh bookshelf test? I know, it's- it's beeping at me. I'm just obsessing over this. There's like a- there's like a semi-pass of the, uh, bookshelf test here. There's no- there is no clump of repeating books, they're all uniquely placed, but they're not all unique books, there's a bunch of repeating books. But they're not together. Like, there's New World there with Unicorn's Exit, and there's New World with Walking Dead. So they are, they're all manually placed, like they just have, didn't have enough books to fill into every single shelf. But there's also weird details where like, New World is huge here and tiny here, so they're just kind of fucking with us a little bit. Yep. Every game fails the bookshop, bookshelf test in a slightly different way. Inside your brain. Discover secrets. All right, shut up. 911 emergency. How can I help you? What's your emergency? Hello? Can you hear me? What's your emergency? Mr. McGrath, hi, it's Paulie from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you, but as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I... I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. What? Uh, yeah, Nicole, it's Jenkins, the attorney. The hotel chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, it's, uh... Very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it, I'll bring you a burger you Portland folks can only dream of. Oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours, don't run off, all right? Okay. So they they want me to not we give the money to the family. We should have hired a decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. 
Come on, let's do this. I just have questions about how... How did we get... How did we get the police on our answering machine speaking as if we called them, but on the answering machine? And wouldn't they have gotten the feedback from the answering machine telling them to leave a message, but then they still didn't understand the context of the call too? Like, that, that was... was that a hallucination? What was that? You can actually zoom in and read these. All of them. Lucky stars. Analysis of warfare. Is that relevant to your day to day? Master in astrophysics. There's his bachelor. So he... He's just a pile of things, isn't he? Wait, an analysis of space, an analysis of warfare. Those are two different titles on the same book. You failed the shit out of the... Uh, fuck that, you just failed the shit out of the bookshelf test. What in the world? That's the most prominent book in the room. Like, it's designed for you to look at it, and it's like a weird mess. What's going on? Analysis of space is more in character, I suppose, because everything's themed that way. So he is... an astrophysics master's student, or graduate. A Christian. And an adulterer. And I feel like we're implying he's dead. How many characters have committed suicide? I'm confused. Oh, somehow everyone's out of the picture and I'm selling it, apparently. Mr. Jenkins said he left the management key in the master suite. This is a straight up map. Okay. I'm in the offices. Where's the master suite? Oh, there's, there's different floors. The master suite's on the first floor. So up at the big stairs, then go to the right. This place is fucking huge. Maybe the whole game takes place in this one... in just this one hotel? Alone? Oh, are they going for like a... gone home kind of thing where you like maybe discover a bunch of things as you explore this really el like elaborate place? I bet you unlock the doors to some of these places over time. Or maybe not. Maybe you only have access to, like, a couple of places in this entire building, and the map just shows how big it is. So they can fill your imagination in. Maybe the game takes you all over the place, and, this, and you're only briefly in the hotel. Kind of just... guessing. Play hard, stay rock. The future, it's in new color. I feel like I'd be a little overwhelmed if I just found out that I had inherited a building like this. Not much risk of that, I don't really have any property owners in the family. Litter box? Does somebody leave a cat? Uh oh. Fluozetine nitrochloride. Brute Nexel. Sensation. Is that just a. F no, that's a shaving cream. I thought it was like a. Scent thing. There's another copy of Inside Your Brain. I would not feel good about myself keeping books in the bathroom. The moisture. 
He does seem to have like 30 copies of the same book though, so I guess that's out the window anyway. The last Will and Testament. Leonard McGrath. He's a resident of Montana. Blair Wilson of Helena as a representative. Nicole Wilson. The daughter. They're giving... He's Yeah, I was given Timberland Hotel. So he's dead, apparently. I mean, on, on this standpoint, they're passing the hell out of the bookshelf test. There's so many stacks of books that are all manually placed. <laughs> Instead of just making one stack of book, uh, one stack of books, and then like rotating it and flipping it to make it look like it's different. <laughs> Still, this guy has a lot of copies of the same books, like right next to each other. He just really wants to find the best restaurants. You don't understand his passion. He wants the best restaurants. <laughs> what? I know that we always want cluttered places, but it always causes me a little stress whenever I see, in a video game, stuff just stacked on top of the stove. It always bothers me. Calculations. Mmm, pop. Anatomy 101, was that his excuse? Nom sapien magna. I was trying to see if you could read the uh, text or not. Like if it was all in English or maybe another language. Star Atlas. What an obnoxious poster. It's up there with the. Uh, that goddamn mug from Knives Out. M my, yeah, yeah, I think that mug said my house, my rules, and this one says my room, my rules. Oh. Got the picture up of me, but mom's put down. Is this where you had the affair? Did you have to put the photo of your wife down so that you didn't have to think about her when you were cheating on her? Can I zoom in? This is really hard to see. I, can we get closer, please? I can't see your smile, honey. Today I saw Rachel. There's light everywhere. Rachel doesn't want her speech therapy exercises. I heard you, Rachel. You were right behind me. Rachel is sad. Rachel says she feels alone. Love you, Rachel. It looks like there's a bunch of, it's a bunch of poems about space. These are some really ugly book covers. Did he start hallucinating? Maybe out of guilt? Like he slept- he slept with Rachel. Cheated on his wife. Rachel committed suicide. And then like out of guilt he starts hallucinating about... Rachel. Did he kill himself to join her? Everything's here exactly the same as when me and mom left ten years ago. It's so... Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. Ten years ago? Damn. It's a really pleasant room. Is 
that a cut in the poster? No, it's like a little flag or something. She liked unicorns in space. That is a distressingly long horn. A mixtape. Well, that wolf looks proud of himself for some reason. It's a VHS. Summer 85. Well before I was born. She also has an interest in the best restaurants and The Walking Dead, which uh, wouldn't be written for like 20 years. <laughs> Stray Cats, Camper von Beethoven, Joy Division. These are real bands. Wait, Joe Division? It's supposed to be Joy Division. Wire, Polick. Instead of police, Bauhaus, happily ever after. Bad manners and the polecats. Killing joke, Adam and the trees. Huh. I can't help but I just want to look to see if there's like something jumps out at me, like something I really like. Hmm. Isn't the Stray Cats the people did the, like, Cool for Cats? No. They didn't do Cool for Cats. It's a different band entirely. Hockey. Lots of... I guess it's Montana. Probably a decent amount of hockey. I don't know. Somebody ask Hank Green. <laughs> Uncompleted 360 flip. That's what it's called. Athletes' memories. All right, let's check again. Jenkins said that he left the management key in the master suite. Where am I? Am I in the master suite? Looking at the layout of the doors in the master suite, I guess I'm in the corner room of the master suite right now, right? So is the... The management key. Yeah, this game's definitely designed for you to like slowly pour over these highly detailed environments. It's one of those. Oh yeah, this there it is. is. The manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. Huh. I'll need a master key for the guest rooms though. There we go. Now we can explore the building more. Probably are going for a bit of a Tacoma and gone home sort of thing. This is a next level amount of books. Like, did you guys not have shelves? Who keeps calling? What is this, a joke? Hello? Uh, can, can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh, uh, uh this is, um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is, uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, uh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... Whatchamacallit? Uh, I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. Uh, but, but the storm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware. Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. Uh, I... You, uh... Bye. Uh-oh. She definitely has a reason to not want to be here, but I feel like... Wait. 
All right, I was like, is that the Clementine hat? <laughs> Never thought to find anything like that. I'm sure she wants to leave. But it feels like there's a real chance that that's not going to be an option. That's going to be the setup, right? Like she gets trapped in this house full of memories she doesn't want to engage with. We, this is to inform me that you that the nominated personal representative Claire Wilson is intended to transfer the property. Yeah. Legal stuff. To do list is nothing. Well, that was fucking creepy. I didn't like that. Is this a horror game? <laughs> I feel like I should ask that real quick. Oh. Well, I hope we didn't need those. Wow, that's a strong storm. Hello? Hey, you still there? Irving? Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Ah, uh, uh, the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car. Uh, yeah? Nicole, uh, uh, listen, if your car uh, breaks down, we can't come get you, not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that, I, I just... Uh... Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again, thanks. Uh, seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man. To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! He's what making some want? choices. I have a 1986 Dodge. You can die. A lot of things aren't blizzard proof. Getting stuck in the wind is scary. Or stuck in the in the storms. I won't stay here a minute more. No way. The attorney, he'll take care of everything. Fuck all this. Look how much place there is. Oh, we're definitely gonna get stuck here and have to explore all this. That's definitely what this game is. The writing is on the wall. Or... Weather. I think we're at the front door. Yeah. I'm supposed to get back to my car before the weather arrives. I don't know how to get to my car. <laughs> Embarrassingly, I have actually no idea where my car was, or where I started even, actually. You think you could just go out the front door? Chandelier fell down. Out of tune piano. How does she know? Just general inactivity, I suppose.
The laundry and boiler room and garage. I bet those are like loading doors. Oh yeah, the diorama. Decent use of landmark. Literally land, in this case. Although not literally land. It's a non- it's a representation of literal land. Mom had an old ass car. changed your mind. You there? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. You sure? Think so. Maybe someone... Uh, no. Listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. God damn it. I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Only trying to help. Yeah, that was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new cell phones. Uh, that's what they call them. Uh, radio doesn't reach out there. I bypass the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer. It's like a two-way radio station that's always open. Oh, this place... I vowed to never come back. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. If you need me, just call. Seriously. Ugh, oh, fine. Getting a little fire watchy. So we're, we're stranded and we've got contact with someone. I have to open the garage door, hope it's working. I thought you said you couldn't find your keys to your car. Like, that kind of fucks everything, doesn't it? Talk to me. I can't open the garage door. It's a conspiracy, damn it. Hey, this stuff freezes up with the cold. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look, I left this place ten years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back here, let alone stay a night. Nicole, I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father, Rachel. I haven't heard that name since I left. I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. You haven't heard the name Rachel since you left. It's, it's a pretty common name. Well, if you would like to try out this game and unpack years of trauma and bad memories with these characters, there is a link to the store page in the description. Hey, uh, found anything useful? No. No keys, no garage door, I can't get out of here without freezing, Christ! It's probably only for a night. Uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow. They might? Uh, look, I'll be on duty all day. Call me when you want. Even just to talk. Okay. Oh, thanks, Irving. Just... Doing my job. Nicole? Yeah. I if I may. What? I'd like to give you some advice. If it comes with a job... You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. Uh, okay. Uh, later. It's quite the I facial expression. It. I'm stuck. Shit. Oh. 
transition, I guess. Day one, so he, oh god, she gets stuck here for a while, apparently. Well, if you'd like to see what happens, guys, a link in the description and all that. Thank you to the developers for sending me a code so I could preview their game. Thanks for watching like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.